lot of people these days get their music from streaming sites. More than 30 million people pay for Apple Music. It's double that for Spotify. So are CDs officially a thing of the past? Not quite. David Goins takes a closer look. For music lovers like Nate Shamshot, a trip to the record store means a lot of browsing, mostly in vinyl. You know, I haven't bought a CD in a long time. But certainly not in CDs. Just about the entire collection at Doc's Records in Fort Worth sell for about 50 cents a piece. But just a few miles away at the downtown library branch, the city of Fort Worth is ready to spend $600,000 for music CDs over the next three years. 600,000 is a lot of CDs. You may have left CDs behind, but that doesn't mean everyone has left CDs behind. Manya Shore is a director of the Fort Worth Library System. She says part of that CD cost is to help open two new branches in the next few years that don't have any inventory. But more importantly, she says, it's designed to meet library users where they live. People with low economic status don't always have the money to transition to the newest technology. So while streaming services have become more popular in recent years, the demand for physical media, like CDs, is still there. I think music is important, and you know, people should have um, a way to go get music from the library. But then that, that's quite a lot of money. Shamshot says he knows a lot of people would be willing to donate their collection to offset some of those taxpayer costs. I think there are people out there that want to donate their collection. We couldn't possibly take something that someone else had listened to for five years and then put it into what we call circulation. We need items that are fresh and new for our patrons, plus our public deserves new. So even as its popularity has faded from many stores, the CD and its audience are still going strong at your local library. David Goins, Channel 8 News.